What is up travelers from Paris, Charles de Gaulle? Just trying to find the door. I'm gonna to talk to you on board because I'm a little late for boarding. I wanna get good pictures when my flight is departing here. Air France, this is class two soul. We got a bus gate today, four buses down here <laughs> waiting to take our aircraft. Here is our huge aircraft to Seoul. So, so cool to see this enormous engine. Look next to this guy before a long flight. Look how cute, I got my own little overhead locker. <laughs> Perfect size. And here is my seat, 7L, at the very back of the business class cabin. Waiting at the seat, you, by the way, you can just see how incredibly spacious Air France's version of the reverse herringbone is. We have this very flush pillow, uh, plush pillow, which I will enjoy while sleeping tonight. Some slippers. A nice coat hanger and a blanket. Look how huge the foot area is on this seat. It's seriously so impressive. One of the best on any reverse herringbone. Of course, we have the entertainment system which flips out like this. The tray table just pulls out from here, allowing you to kind of stow it if you need to go out, go to the bathroom. We, of course, have a reading light up here, uh, and this is one part I really like, a super private <laughs> and uh, safe storage area. One thing I think is a little limiting for Air France is that they don't have more seat controls than this. Like, what if you want to put just the leg rest up? You can't, but that's not a huge issue. Then down here, they hide the um, power port and USB, as well as the in-flight magazines. You can also store stuff here and you can put your shoes down here so you can just tell that there is so much space in this seat and lastly this goes up to give us even more privacy in bed mode i just want to show as well there is so much privacy in these seats there's just a small gap there but since everyone is facing away you really can't see any other passengers because this wall is so high as well which makes it super different from even Qatar Airways, which has this seat. You know that I didn't love it on the E380 just because the wall is so much lower, but on this aircraft, the seat is excellent. So anyway, I realized I didn't do an introduction, so I might as well say, hi guys. <laughs> I'm flying home from Toulouse for the, from the Airbus E330 800 Neo first flight. Airbus booked me on these flights back and forth and of course if Airbus care, pays for this flight that doesn't really matter because they don't care what I say about Air France. I'm on a 777 so they definitely don't care what I say about that. This review as always will be brutally honest um, and I'll be sharing my opinion as always so don't worry but it feels very 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 cool to be on a flight that I actually didn't pay for because it was very long since that happened so I'm like oh my gosh what am I doing here and my miles account isn't hurting because of it um, but anyway I got this awesome red amenity kit which is so cute I'm trying to decide whether I should give it away to one of you guys I just love the look of it so so much I also got a blue one on the outbound flight which uh, I might give away instead I don't know uh, if one of you really really loves this I might give it away but I'm gonna show you what the contents are inside in a second. I also want to tell you about the bus ride here because oh my gosh when I got to the gate and I saw it was a bus I was like no please no because there were so many empty gates around there and I was like why aren't the aircraft parked here why do we have to go all the way to a bus gate and the worst part was the bus ride was like 15 minutes we went around the whole airport then I was fine because ultimately it's so awesome to get to board a wide body like this from a bus gate, like I said. And voila! 
All the contents of the kit. Quite a good one, actually. Uh, and the uh, fruit juice. So yeah, you might have seen I switched this for the kit I got on the last fight, just so I could do an unboxing without uh, really opening the plastic of the other one. But the content should be the same. The classiest safety video in the world. <laughs> So do you guys want to see a tour of the entertainment system? I think you do. Let's have a look. Now I already have all the spoilers since I already took a flight with Air France where that landed yesterday long haul so I know what this is all like but I have to say let's see here. Where are we? Movies I think. Yeah so huge selection of movies. Oh my god, so highly recommend this one. Oh, the Grand Budapest Hotel. So many great movies. The Shawshank Redemption, Mamma Mia. Yes, I might have to watch Mamma Mia. It just makes me so, so happy every time. But of course, I'm Swedish, so I'm a little bit biased. As you can tell, a really great entertainment system on our friends. Uh, much better than any other European carrier I can think of, actually. Better than Lufthansa, better than KLM, better than SES. So, good job, Air France. Let's look at the menu. On today's flight, I decided to watch Jurassic Park, which is exciting. The second new one. I loved the first new one, so let's see what this one's like. But also, let's see what the menu is like, which is actually more important. Especially considering that they are a French airline. Also, this salad is literally just lettuce. That's kind of depressing. The sun is just setting out there. So I'm gonna go get ready and uh, I'll see you all on the other side.
welcome to my little cocoon. I'm gonna go to bed now, but I have a few comments. I know I said I was gonna go to bed. Paris is known for steaks and pastries and then unhealthy stuff like that, but it also has a huge health food scene. And like there are so, so, so many vegan restaurants in Paris and that's all they'll serve. That's just really disappointing. Uh, but anyway, I have to say, the one highlight of this flight has been the crew. They've been absolutely fantastic. So genuine, so kind, really world-class crew. Offered me double pillows, du double blankets, everything. Anyway, good night and see you soon. Good morning, you guys. Voila, this is breakfast. Some uh, potato uh, cakes or whatever it's called. Um, tomato, mushroom, and an English muffin, and some fruit. Looks quite tasty. Let's take it. Alors, let's conclude the flight. And yes, I do speak a bit of French. Shocker. Anyway, I didn't record a conclusion on the flight for some reason. I don't know, I think I was really tired. My face was a bit swollen from sleeping, so I looked like I just had my wisdom tooth taken out, which I'm doing tomorrow, actually, so wish me luck. But any case, before we go too much off track, my flight with Air France overall was still awesome. I love their reverse herringbone. It's so private, it's just the perfect comfort level. Really, Air France, in my opinion, has the best business class seat of any European airline. The service on my flight was also great. You can stay tuned for after this conclusion to see an example of how well the crew handled asking me not to film. I was just really impressed. Also, the entertainment system was great. Um, the food was quite disappointing and so is the lavatory, but overall those last two things aren't the biggest deal. So I would definitely fly Air France again, especially if it was a flight where I needed just to maximize my sleep since the bed and seat is so comfortable. If I had a little more time, of course, I might go through the Middle East or Southeast Asia, but if you want the convenience of going direct or it's just a quick connection, Air France definitely is not a bad option. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Comment below letting me know what you think about Air France. Or if you're from Korea or France, of course, let me know down below. And until I see you all next time, fly safe. Alrighty, we are on board and I just want to tell you a quick story of what just happened. Um, so I was taking pictures of the cabin, obviously, and I guess a flight attendant saw me. So someone, I don't know if it's the purser, but someone came over and very, very kindly said, Oh, welcome on board, Air France. Please take as many photos of you want of the cat as you want of the cabin, the food, anything. But please just don't photograph the other passengers and crew. Um, but anything else you're welcome to take photos of. Is that okay? And I said, of course, of course. He said, thank you so much. We really appreciate your understanding. Um, where are you from? Like, engage in small talk, things like that. And that is the way to tell someone just to be careful with the filming. And I appreciate it so, so much. Um, and just, I was thinking about this in relation to my Etihad experience, because some people were saying, like, oh, why are you uh, complaining? People tell people, other people, they can't take pictures and stuff all the time. But you can really tell by the tone uh, what kind of vibe people are giving off and this time the tone was just great, really polite, really nice.